Good morning, folks, and happy Friday. This is Jen Espinosa Kaswami coming to you live and sweaty. <laughs> I'm post run right now, and typically I've showered by noon, but today is not a typical day. I found my schedule quite open today, so I decided to go for a run. So I apologize for my somewhat sweaty and unkempt appearance, but this is real life, folks. So I always try to be as authentic with you today every day as I can because I can't support anyone as a health coach if I'm not authentic in who I am as a person. So speaking of authenticity, I wanted to come on live today because I have a couple of things to share in regards to some realizations I have and some things that I've been perhaps not as uh, open and authentic about because I'm a little embarrassed about them. And um, I also have, of course, an, inv an invitation for you to consider this December to be more than just a throwaway month. So first of all, this, this t live is titled uh, what, what You Know Versus What You Do. And this came across to me, actually this came in my mind while I was running. So running is a great way to spur your creativity and, and things that are important for you to say. So just throwing that out there, exercise is good for endorphins and creativity. But one of the things that I personally have been struggling with, and this is really embarrassing for me to admit because I'm a health coach, but I was at the doctor's office yesterday doing my annual exam with my lady doctor and unfortunately, when I stepped on the scale in the middle of the afternoon, which is not a time I typically step on a scale, so I wasn't mentally prepared for it. And most of the time, you know, my weight is just information. I don't really necessarily care about my weight. I've been able to achieve amazing, amazing physical things this year, and I think that's a great thing. However, that doesn't mean I didn't feel a certain way when I stepped on that scale yesterday because I'm the heaviest weight I've ever been since I lost 100 pounds 17 years ago. Um, and so that makes me feel a little inauthentic because as a health coach, one of my main purposes is to talk about how you can maintain your weight for the long term, regardless of what that weight is. Um, because a lot of people focus too much, in my opinion, on the losing weight and the, the achieving a certain picture of health as opposed to maintaining it. So my whole focus has been within my business, within my speaking and my presentations has been to maintain. And this past year, I have done a really poor job of maintaining. So I'm throwing it out there and saying, I know exactly what to do to maintain my weight because I had been doing it for 15 plus years. That doesn't mean I've been doing it. And so, um, if you're joining me, hi Mary, it looks like you joined me today. So glad you're here. Uh, if you're joining me today, it's because I understand the struggle. I understand what it is to know exactly what you need to do and still not do it. Uh, there's, some, there's nothing inhuman about me. Some, in some ways, I feel like I was lucky that I was able to lose as much weight as I did so long ago and maintain it for the most part. And now I'm in a place in my life where despite the fact that I'm probably fitter than I've ever been and I just ran a half marathon and I just ran five miles today, you know, clearly I'm athletic. That doesn't mean I feel happy with where I am in my weight. And I'm not happy with my weight right now. So that's a really embarrassing thing to admit as a health coach. However, I am also an action taker, have always been. And now that I'm able to admit, I've admitted to myself, I'm admitting it to all of you now, because this is a struggle I see a lot of people and I hear a lot of people tell me, whether it's friends that I work out with or prospective clients who schedule a phone call with me to talk about their situation, audiences who've heard me speak and come up and talk to me afterwards. The common theme that everyone says is, oh, I know what to do. I just don't do it. Does that feel like you? Are you in that place where you're like, well, I already know what I need to do but either I can't do it or I won't do it. And this time of year, it can be challenging, I know. There's a lot of scheduling things going on. There's Christmas coming up. There's gifts to buy for people. There's parties to go to. I'm going to a party tomorrow night. I'm super excited about that. 
there's a lot to do, right? So you comfort yourself with the idea of, I know what I need to do to get my health and my weight and whatever, to get myself physically, mentally, emotionally in a place where I feel good. Most of us are intelligent enough to know what to do, right? It's not rocket science. It's, it, we know that you know kale is better for you than cake. But it's not in the knowing what to do that transformation happens. It certainly hasn't happened for me this past year. I mean, physical transformations have been happening for me, but I'm heavier than I've ever been, so I'm not comfortable with that balance. I don't have that balance figured out for myself yet. And I'm strategizing on what that will look like in 2019. I have a plan, though. So here's the intersection here. Knowing what to do is fine. And some people can remain in the place of not knowing what to do. So maybe you're in the place where you're like, I don't really even know what to do. Because perhaps um, something that you feel was successful for you before, you don't feel will be successful for you anymore. Then we absolutely need to have a conversation because I'm really good at helping people focus in and strategize and create clarity around what is most impactful for them. Not because I did it, not because anyone else did it, but because it's impactful for them based on what they're capable of doing right now. I'm really good at helping people strategize through that. So, but if you're in a place where you're like, well, yeah, I was on this program before and it worked really well for me and I just fell off the program for one reason or another because life happens, I know what to do. I'll just go back to that program. So, a lot of people say, yeah, I know what to do and I also know when to do it. And most people this time of year, they're like, I'm going to wait till January. January 1st, New Year's resolutions, I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to do this year what I never did last year or the year before or the year before, you know, whatever year you want to insert into that equation. Most people have a really good idea of what they need to do and when they need to do it. And for some of us, that could be a deadline. Maybe it's New Year's resolutions, but maybe there's a beach vacation coming up or maybe there's a special family event coming up or something. We usually have in our minds what we need to do, eat healthy, exercise more, blah, 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 blah. Eat healthy, exercise more. Sometimes that's not what you need for your best health today. Just throwing that out there. And it's hard for you to understand what that is unless you have a conversation with someone who can look at it from a third perspective because your perspective is so close to you and so close to, it's like a blinder is on for you. That's the beauty of coaching and getting that perspective of someone who can look at it from a different angle, look at it from a different eye. So we know what to do or we think we know what to do and then we think we know when to do it. So we set certain guidelines and, and structure and calendars around ourselves, right? Speaking of calendars, I just got a bunch of new calendars and I'm super excited about it because my I live by my calendar honestly I live by my calendar and um, I have to shift how I'm doing my calendar starting in January so this is very exciting for me but it's also a place of indecision so that can be challenging as well and if you're in a place of indecision where you're like I I know what to do I don't really know when to do it we absolutely need to have a conversation then too because I have a program that is perfect for you um, so when to do it you know two main pieces of information, right? But that's not the full picture. That's not the most of what you need to do. The most of what you need to do is to understand why. Why is it important to you? <clears throat> I can't tell you how many times people come to me and say, well, I want to reach this weight, or I want to run this far, or I want to exercise consistently. And they might have some basic idea of what and when, but they don't know why. And they can't articulate to me why. Sometimes they'll dance around this issue and say, oh, it's because it's, I used to be this way or because I did this before. It's because I imagine or my doctor is telling me I need to do this or it might make certain things easier. Yeah, I'm sure it will make things easier, but that's not a strong enough why. And I help people figure out their why. And I know personally one of the reasons I'm at my highest weight today in a decade, if you will, is because my why kind of fell through the cracks. And it does. And sometimes our why shifts and sometimes it changes. My why when I first lost 100 pounds was I wanted to live a long and healthy life. Now I've been having lots of conversations with health and fitness professionals and um, some of the latest conversations I've had are around the fact that people who are overweight and sometimes obese actually live longer than people who are not. 
So that's impacting my why, right? I'm like, well, I am obese right now. I'm still medically obese. I'm fully honest about that. I'm medically obese. Even though I'm a health coach, even though I run a half marathon, even though I do these things, I'm still 